Fields are empty at Fountain Valley High School and have been at all six high schools in the Huntington Beach Union High School District since the term COVID-19 entered our lexicon last spring. It was tough for me, but you know, it was much harder on those senior kids, you know, and all the kids really, but especially the seniors, you know, they, they've gone so far, you know, in their athletic career and then having it stopped, you know, almost halfway through their senior year was really tough. And as those in charge attempt to navigate teachers, students, and staff into the rapidly approaching new school year, the topic of prep sports and its importance within that landscape has taken center stage. The number one goal is the, the health and safety of our kids, the health and safety of our coaches, and the health and safety of their families and, and the community. In California, almost half of high school students participate in a school sport. So the decisions made will ultimately affect thousands of athletes, coaches, and officials. Jim Perry is the district athletic director. And you'd be hard pressed to find anyone more dialed in to local athletics. He is confident that sports can and will be played with safety at the forefront of each and every decision. We're, we're in no way, shape, or form that put kids at risk and families at risk. We're really confident about our plan to, to, to put our kids and our coaches in the safest possible situation with, with the idea in mind that not only is it our kids and coaches, but it's their families. That plan has a lot to do with knowing your school's athletes and making sure they do what it takes to keep everyone around them as safe as possible. It's the idea of, of checking temperatures every day. It's the idea of what have you been doing the last 24 hours or 48 hours? Who have you been in contact with? How are you feeling? It's that constant repetition, that constant accountability where we've got a record of every single kid and every single coach. Roger Holmes enters his second year as Fountain Valley High School's athletic director. He's optimistic that his athletes will be able to compete in the 2020-2021 school year after seeing last season come to a screeching halt. For us, it was just trying to you know, look at different possibilities for this year. Uh, what, what would it look like if football started in October? What does that look like if it started later? Those kind of things. So the coaches have been in contact with all of their opponents uh, to say, hey, you know, if we have to move, let's, let's look at this date and that date kind of thing. Much has been said about the health of kids, but even more at risk are the coaches and on-field officials, some of whom will understandably be hesitant to return to the fields and courts. We've got some young coaches that are fearless and they think they're bulletproof. And then we've got some, some folks in, in, in my age range that, that are thinking, you know, wait a minute, is this, is this really worth it? Am I willing to, to take that kind of risk? And, and I hope, I think, I believe that our plan here has, has been able to put that to rest with our coaches. The CIF Southern Section Office, the governing athletic body for the majority of Southern California schools, has announced that competition will now begin in December and be made into two sports seasons as opposed to the usual fall, winter, spring model. But if there's one thing we've all learned this year, much can change in a very short span of time. So stay tuned. Reporting in the city of Fountain Valley, I am Bob Gibson for Slices.